friends, this is Dr. Anita Mishra from Biani Groups, Group of Colleges. Uh, today I am going to deliver a lecture on behalf of GuruKPU.com. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on plant tissue culture media. In my previous lecture, I have told you about the plant tissue culture and about the requirements of plant tissue culture. Actually, plant tissue culture require two major things, a proper media and sterile conditions. In this lecture, we will discuss the media, how to prepare the media and what are the media components of media which are required for plant tissue culture. Now, the basic components of plant tissue culture media include minerals, organic supplements, carbon source, gelling agent and buffering agent. Okay? Now, the minerals include the micronutrients and the macronutrients. Micronutrients are those mineral salts which are in, uh, required in less quantity, whereas macronutrients are those mineral salts which are required in more quantity. Okay? Now, organic supplements, these organic supplements include three types of components, vitamins, amino acids and hormones. Vitamins include the vitamin B1, B6 and nicotinic acid, whereas the amino acids include the glycerin. We use glycerin as an amino acid in plant tissue culture because this amino acid is usually easily utilized by the plants. Okay? Now, the hormones include auxins, cytokinins, gibberellins and ABA, abscisic acid. Auxin is required for cell division in plant tissue culture, cell wall synthesis in plant tissue culture and root induction in plant tissue culture. Okay? The cytokinin hormone is required for shoot differentiation in plant tissue culture. Gibberellins are essential for enhancing the growth of plants. Okay? And abscisic acid is generally used in the callus culture. Callus, culture, callus is an undifferentiated mass of cells produced by the plant tissue culture. And abscisic acid is used in the callus culture. In callus culture, it enhances or inhibits the growth according to the growth conditions. So, the basic four hormones we include in the plant tissue culture media are auxins, cytokinins, gibberellins, and abscisic acid. And according to the concentration of these hormones, the growth in the plant tissue culture media, plant tissue culture occurs. Okay, the shoot differentiation, the root differentiation, the morphogenesis. The uh, growth of plant varies according to the concentration of the hormones we are utilizing and we have to devise the concentration of these hormones by an elaborate process. Okay? Different concentrations are suitable for different plants. Okay? That we actually, that is the actually, that is the actual work of plant tissue culture. Now, other than the mineral, organic supplements, carbon source, we use a gelling agent. Generally, uh, the plant tissue culture is done on a semi-solid media and to provide it a semi-solid consistency, we use a gelling agent. Gelling for gelling, we can use agar, agarose or gelatin. Okay? Now, the agarose, agar and gelatin are used as gelatin agent because they can withstand the high temperature. We have to uh, maintain the sterile condition during plant tissue culture. So, for maintaining the sterile condition during plant tissue culture, after preparing this media, we have to autoclave this media at very high temperature so that there is no contamination in this media. And these uh, all components can withstand the high temperature and these uh, gelling agents can also withstand the high temperature of the autoclave. So, we use these particular gelling agents. Now, the buffering agents include uh, 0.1 SCL 0.1 and NaOH and we see with the help of pH meter we see that the uh, pH of media should be 5 to 6 and the pH we have it is necessary to maintain the pH because pH decides the absorption of nutrients, mineral ions, organic supplements, carbon source and gelling agent in the media. We have discussed minerals, organic supplements, gelling agent and buffering agent that we include the media. Now, the carbon source we use in the media is generally the sucrose. Generally, 2.5% concentra concentration of uh, sucrose is used as a carbon source in media for providing energy. And sucrose is the best source of carbon. 
in the plant tissue culture media because it is easily utilized. But in its place, we can use the glucose also. Okay. Now, the you have under I think you have understood all these components of plant tissue culture media. Okay. Now, these are the basic components of plant tissue culture media. Now, when we are going to actually perform the plant tissue culture, how to prepare a plant tissue culture media? What are the steps we can uh, include while preparing a plant tissue culture media? First, we have to weigh 8 gram of agar agar okay, on the weighing balance. Put it, okay, weigh the agar agar and put it aside. Now, weigh the 30 gram sucrose and put it, okay, then uh, organic, inorganic substances, okay, organic substances are these are these organic supplements, okay. Inorganic subst substances are the minerals, okay, vitamins, which are also included in the organic supplements, amino acids, which are also included in the organic supplements, are weighed, okay. Generally, uh, different type of media we can use, MS media is most commonly used media in the plant tissue culture. And the quantity of these organic, inorganic substances, vitamins, amino acids is particularly devised, okay. A particular concentration, particular weight of these all components is, is uh, that has been standardized is used while preparing the MS media or any other type of media. The most common media that we use is MS media. Now, after weighing these all components, we um, prepare a solution of them. How to prepare a solution of them? Prepare a solution of them by mixing them in the distilled water, okay. And we have to, uh, we have to take some of the salts in one stock, we have to take some of the salts and vitamins and amino acids in another stock, we have to take some of the vitamins, organic components and amino acids in another stock. So in this way, we prepare the four stocks. We have to prepare the four stocks and while for while preparing one liter media, we have to take 50 ml of stock one, 5 ml of stock second, 5 ml of stock third, 5 ml of stock four, okay. After taking these stocks, weighing these, uh, weighing the agar agar, weighing the sucrose, we have done three steps. The fourth step is to take 600 ml of distilled water. Okay. Now, pour the 600 of ml of distilled water in a 1 liter beaker. Okay. And then, heat the um, uh, beaker on a heater. Now, dissolve 8 ml agar agar in this beaker, 30 ml agar agar in, uh, 30 ml sucrose in this beaker and all the stocks that we have put in this beaker, these are slowly mixed. Okay. After dissolving all these components, we have to mix them slowly on a beaker. Then we put a cotton plug over the flask, one little beaker or flask. We can use the such bottles which have opening on uh, their cap and have cotton plug fitted in that opening or we can use a flask that uh, that is covered by a tight cotton plug. Okay. We put the media in those flasks or we can use um, many bottles and many flasks to put the media. Then we, uh, then we perform the autoclave, okay. We have to, uh, after preparing a large quantity of me media, like 1 liter of media, we separate those media in uh, different beakers and different bottles and then we, uh, then we autoclave that. And after autoclaving and cooling the media, we can use this, these bottles and this media for plant tissue culture. Thanks for watching my video. Keep watching GuruKPU.com. Please like, subscribe and comment on this video. Thank you.